Over the past few years, the Chicago area has experienced extreme cold and record-breaking amounts of snow during the late fall and winter months, but we are more than lacking these conditions this year. This hill is typically a sledding hill, but as you can see, there's no snow to sled on. What we are experiencing is what is known as an El Nino. We haven't seen anything similar to this in almost 20 years, and this year's El Nino is being recorded as one of the strongest ever. An El Nino is a very warm band of water that travels eastward across the Pacific. This year's particular El Nino has tied with the 1997-98 record for the warmest water temperatures ever recorded. The result of these warm water temperatures is we experience a splitted jet stream causing a cooler and wet flow along the southern U.S., which obstructs the cold polar air from Canada, causing a warmer and drier winter in the north. Conditions like this led to extreme flooding and increased mountain snowfall in California during the 97-98 El Nino. That same year, the Chicago area experienced temperatures 7 to 10 degrees above average and a total snowfall of only 29.6 inches. Ponds and lakes were not frozen and people could walk around the city wearing light coats. I, I like it. It's, you know, middle of, or beginning of January and it's 40 degrees out, just in a, a light shirt. So it's wonderful. I love it. This year we've seen a very similar pattern with a total snowfall of 15.7 inches at O'Hare International Airport and December's average temperature 11 degrees above normal. Though this may not be our typical Chicago winter, don't get too comfortable. El Nino's sister pattern, La Nina, typically follows, and La Nina is known for cold, wet, and severe weather winters in the Midwest. For CPTV, reporting from the Lake County Fairgrounds in Crown Point, Indiana, I'm Mitch Bolda.